Okay, let's go in. Okay, um, so here's where the fun begins and the chaos. Um, so it's everything we just did, but now we have Lothus as well. Um, I'm pretty sure Lothus does come up before Thumbs does, um, so we should see Lothus um, first. Um, and Lothus brings all of his mechanics in as well. So um, he will teleport between the four corners of the room, meaning uh, where I'm at, but all four uh, corners. Um, so basically all four of these lights, um, he'll teleport roughly to um, them. And whenever he teleports, he leaves behind that giant poison AoE, um, which is not fun uh, if you need to kite into it. Um, so, um, try your best to not kite into it while still being aware of uh, those to either side of you. Um, and yeah, um, if say lane 2 sees that lane 1 is going to have to deal with that poison, maybe try to give them a little bit more room. Um, and maybe lane 3 would see it too and also try and give lane 2 a little bit more room because the most room is going to be uh, closer to lanes 4 and 5. Um, and basically going that way straight back towards um, Bean. Um, but yeah, it is is hard in the chaos of this fight to really see that, especially if it's not for your own lane. Um, but just try your best to give people a room, because um, the poison does kind of hurt. Um, so yeah, he drops that poison AoE. Uh, he has the Interruptible, um, which is a huge pain. Um, so we have door and cap assigned to range interrupt it with crushing shock um, they are basically going to be following um, this mini around from a distance uh, because this mini is range meaning that even though floppy will have taunt on the mini at all times um, he will only come so close um, to floppy um, which means he will not stack nicely with Felms, which means uh, he's a pain to try to um, focus down at the same time. Um, so, yeah, basically we'll have Door and Cap uh, following him around. Um, there is a reason why each of you, Door and Cap, are on opposite sides, entrance and gate. Uh, and that's so that you don't need to cross over into each other's um, sides to be interrupting. And that'll just keep you closer to your kite lane. Um, but yeah, you two can stay on him basically the entire time. Um, you two might be able to solo him, like DPS him down with your guys' DPS, I'm not sure. Um, but kill order is still Felms first. And Lothis we don't care about until Felms dies. Uh, the rest of us. So, um, films will die slower since Dor and Cap are both following around Lothus. Um, but yeah, we want to make sure we're still focusing films. Once films is dead, then we can all start focusing Lothus. Um, Floppy, once films dies, uh, you can actually get Lothus to position where films was by kind of overcorrecting and, um, Say I want Lothus to stand on this square, um, but he'll only come to this one uh, because, again, he stays at range. He's, he'll actually be further away than that, but this is just an example. Um, I would simply move backwards to here so that Felms and or sorry, Lothus ends up here. Um, so basically, you just move further away um, from where you want him so that he comes forward to where you want him. Uh, does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. um, so you don't need to do that until Felms dies and we're all focusing Lothus, but yeah, um, that is why they're so hard to position together. Um, both of them will enrage at their own respective three minute marks, so we do still need to make sure that they are both dying within three minutes. That should not be any issue with this group, um, but I will be keeping an eye on their timers. I have an add-on for it. And 
yeah. Uh, one last thing, just to really uh, give you guys more work, is that Lothus does have that defiling blast mechanic, that cone um, that targets one person, they turn green, cone moves with them. And that can and will line up with the kite phase. Um, if you have Defiling Blast on you, if you're green and the cone follows you as you move, the cone becomes your kite path. Uh, it does not matter whose paths you are crossing, um, you need to stay in that cone. You do not want to be sweeping that cone across everyone, trying to stay within your own um, original lane. Uh, everyone else needs to try to kite around the cone. Uh, and as long as you're kiting within the cone, the cone won't be moving, and um, everyone else can just adjust as needed. Uh, it is easier said than done, but if you try to stick to your original lane, and that cone is sweeping across people during kite phase, people will die. Um, so it's very important that if you are green, you're not moving, and if you have the kite mechanic while green, you need to move backwards in such a way that the cone does not move. Does that make sense? It is very hectic. Uh, it can help to call if cones on you, just so people know that it's not on them. Because um, they know the green is hard to see. Uh, and if you don't have an add-on telling you who the cone is on, um, then sometimes it takes people a few seconds to figure out who is the one that it's following, if multiple people are in it at first. Um, but yeah, just try your best. You ready? currently reloading my UI. Give me one second. Sure. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Pulling in three, two, one. Redemption is a lie. There is only torment for you. First jump at 90%, get into alcoves. You ready to kite? Kite. Protector on gate side. This is up. Protector on gate side. Be ready to kite. Kite's gonna be very soon. Kite. You guys nuked Lothus. Yeah. Jump is going to be very soon. Uh, once the protector goes down, uh, get into your alcoves quick, quick. Come back in. Gate side protector. Lothus coming back up in 4, 3, uh, be ready to kite. Kite. Lothus is up. Thelms is up. We're gonna be focusing Thelms now. Uh, off tank is down. Get Floppy up, please. We ignore the protector for now. Okay, uh, everyone should be on films. My horn. Stay still. Is the Five seconds till kite. Be ready to kite. Kite. Okay, still focusing films.
Okay, protector on gate side. Five seconds still kite. Ten seconds still Lothus. We're also really close to jump. Kite. Yeah, he's gonna jump immediately after this, so get right into your alcoves. Jumping, gate side protector. Uh, we can focus reses after this. Uh, Felms is coming up in three seconds. So let's get our reses and then focus Felms if you're not on reses. Interrupts are great. My my horn. Oh, kite's gonna be very soon. Kite. Sorry, didn't call that one out well. Sorry about that. I actually brought. Last on me. Gate side protector. Uh, Felms is still up though. Lothus is down. Okay, kill protector on gate. Kite very, very soon. Right after this breath. Kite. Fifteen seconds till Lothus is back up. Felms is down. Uh, gate side protector. Lothus coming up in three. Horn. We can stay on Olms for a little bit. 20 seconds till Felms comes back up. Be ready to kite. Kite. The next big jump is at 25%. So just be aware of that. That's coming up. Gate side protector. Helm's coming up in three. Helm's is up. Get that protector down. He's jumping still. Ooh. And the brick. Focusing Helm's. Five seconds still kite. Protector rolling into center. Be ready to kite. I have become the butcher's blade. Get that protector down, center. Sorry, got that AOE a little close to you. No worries. Uh, you'll have to be careful of uh, breath because he's for some reason moved forward. Um, so that's not Ooh, good. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Somehow the dead Felms made him move forward. Uh, Lothus is up. Uh, jumping. I completely missed that. He's gonna kite immediately after this. So we'll have to run right in and then kite out right now. Gate side protector. Felms is back up. We will kill Felms one last time. Uh, I still have a gate side protector as well. Horn. Twenty seconds to Lothus. We won't kill Lothus again, but interrupters still need to uh, watch him. Kite after this um, trial by fire. After the steam breath. Kite. 
Lothis has returned. Everyone focusing films. Nice work on films. Uh, protector on gate side. Focused is now protectors and ohms. Okay, horn. Let's burn the boss down. Kite soon. Trial by fire. Thelms is coming up in eight. We'll ignore him. Kite. Protector on gate side. Get that down so we can finish off boss. Interrupts Lothus. Job. Nice. I don't think it was the cleanest I've ever run on. That was very clean. I see. Is it very well? That was hectic. <laughs> Isn't it fun though? Thank yeah, you. it's a lot of circles. You weren't kidding. I know it will seem no Um, so there are a few sets that drop out of here.